Hey guys, look at this. She's on the ground. She's no longer a jack stand queen. So yeah, a lot of stuff has been done this episode and we will all see it now. the brake booster uh, I had to remove the valve cover uh, as you can see it's awesome how this engine is clean inside I tried to mount a brake booster uh, from a facelift it's a bit bigger but it just don't fit uh, but the uh, original one from the car fit perfectly there's like three millimeter space there <laughs> putting the valve cover back you need to put some silicone in the corners uh, so it seals, seals perfectly There is this valve thingy for the brakes, uh, I had to modify the location uh, because uh, it was hitting the engine, it was hitting the head, so I just bend it and drill the hose from the other side. I found out this cool line which is uh, teflon braided but it's also rubber so it will not wrap through the things around uh, so I made a clutch line out of it. The 3UZ needs electronic throttle, so what I have done is uh, I've modified the bracket, as you can see welded few bolts, removed few bolts and mounted down the, the electronic bracket, it's from different Lexus but it should be all fine.
I modified the way that it has, you know, the the throw uh, is nicely close to the brake, so I can uh, blip it during the shifts. Surprise! Really surprising. There was a bird nest under the under the intake. I don't want to know how long this engine stayed outside, but I hope it's all healthy from the inside. So when I was putting the intake on, I heard some weird sound. So <laughs> I'm glad I removed it and checked what's happening. Check it out. See that bastard there? That's a hose clamp from, from this hose. Oh, I'm glad I'm checked. I found out. I had the injectors checked. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're perfect. Uh, so I will just dip them in this oil a bit. And put them in the engine. See this LED strip? This is low pressure, low oil pressure warning light. Uh, it's connected on the sensor, the battery is connected and here I have 12 volts so we can try to crank it and see whether this during cranking will go down. That means we have oil pressure. Okay, let's do it. It will take some time before it will, you know, build some pressure. The engine is empty even though I primed it. See? There is some oil. We have oil pressure. Pressure and now it went down. Ha! Awesome! I want to send a couple parts for paint job, you know, and uh, my fender this on this side is pretty rusty down, so I find some better one here. So I will now just mock up the suspension and I will roll it and prep this and send this for a paint job. So, yeah, here we go. My genius idea with the E36, sorry, E46 bar will work, but no. Get this in one fit. So yeah, I need, I need adjustable, adjustable these things. How it's called? Adjustable sway bar links. Yeah, can we do? I will order them like a million other things I ordered ordered already. Okay. Uh, this is the mocked up suspension. Uh, I'm waiting for for the bottom arm from Destroy and Die from UK. It's extended and adjustable. And this is spindle modified by my friend here. You can see here. It's pretty much a lot of angle. We'll see how the clearance will be. When I was rolling the fender, it cracked here greatly. And also here. And looks horrible. And the first weak spot is this. See? When I'm going to be rolling the fender, it's going to crack here. So I can roll it. And then I will prepare the other one. See how it's fucked here. And here. So just remove the stickers and let, let some people who know more about the bodywork than me to do the, all the magic. Okay, today we have some help. Say hi. Hi. I need to remove the stickers from the car. So I got some help, so we 
has more patience than me. <laughs> Okay, so I got this nice fender, uh, which I already f by angle grinder, and I'm going to finish it by this fender 3000. So far I ruined every fender, I touched it, even when my friends tried it, but this one goes to the body shop and they will fix it after I f it up. So yeah, I will try it and see how it goes. it's pulled out a bit I will ask them to pull them a tiny bit more and maybe remove this line to have it the same as on the other side and straighten it up you know using hammer Fast the machine is to machine the pulley exactly to, to fit the Miata pump and then I went to the friends at Soap Garage and they helped me to press it in. It's pressed in and because it was not like super hardcore pressed so that's why we welded it in using TIG. Yeah. So this is the original pump, I took it apart and this is the OEM gasket set from Mazda. So let's put it together so we can order some nice belts. See how it works? It's a simple hydraulic pump and these things by the centrifugal force are going outside and it's sucking from somewhere I think from one of the, these two holes and pushing it through the other two holes. So we have the wall pump together, let's try to fit it. Put some spacers already there. Here. Yeah. And the spacers. Let's mount it. Yes, this is Miata power steering pump on UZ engine. I would say that, right? I space it exactly so it, it's perpendicular with all the other pulleys. And now what I need to make sure that there will be enough thread here so I will just cut it a bit more so I can actually properly tighten it down because this is not fully bottomed out yet. Now there is a space for, for nut.
So this is the original Miata mount. It will be yeah, something like this. I'm not sure how much you can see it. But there is this this bracket which goes from one side to another. Here, this one. And I put it the another one here on the alternator. The lid on the car. When you weld it on the car, it's, it fits usually precisely. It somehow welded. If I would be telling you that I saw something, I would be lying. <laughs> so let's take it out and see how we done it up. That's why I have a cover on my camera. <laughs> it's there, so time to order the belt uh, so we can have functional pulley system. So as you can see, there is still space for supercharger if I rework this. So, yeah, you know, there is still chance about for the boost. Okay, so this is the drive shaft. As you can see. It has been shortened here and here and it's balanced and there is a new new Guibo in the end. So yeah. Let's put it in the car. Yeah, body panels missing again. What you can do? <laughs> so I send them to the guys to soft garage. Uh, they will prep it for the paint job, and they also borrow me these pieces. So I will try them now to fit on. These are straight through. Mine will not be straight through. Mine will be uh, a little bit taken down for the for the noise level and have flaps in the back. There will be a separate video or maybe two about the exhaust. But yeah, let's test fit. Let's check whether they will actually fit. <laughs> so the steering is there, you can see here. And it's the steering wheel and it's steering. That's all what happened. Hope you enjoyed. It was a long one, big one, but a lot of stuff has been done. So I'm looking forward to start this baby up. And by the way, all the electrical system right now is on the way to England. Uh, there is a guy who will do the wall wiring for me. Uh, I will have to just finish it up. So he says he said three wires. We'll see. I don't believe it's be going to be so easy. I want to add also the other sensors and other stuff. You will see. It. So see ya next time. <laughs>